Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve one of my go-to looks, which happens to be this nice top bun with sleek edges. But before we move on to that, I'm really excited about today because we are going to be announcing our very first Smiley of the Week. Please give it up for Ariana in Detroit, Michigan. Smileys, have you ever seen a smile so bright? Keep those selfies coming. Send them to aibrownsmile at gmail.com and we'll keep posting Smiley of the Week. So without further ado, let's get right to it. She cute, she cute, she cute. <laughs> I know, we'll get to this hair in a minute, but I just want to take a second to reflect on Smiley of the Week. If that didn't brighten your day, I don't know what will. I mean, I, I just don't know. But whenever I'm doing my bun, I like to start with freshly washed hair because that's when I get the best results. So we're going to start with a wash today. I'm using this attachment that I purchased at Sally's. It makes it really easy if you kind of have a small sink bowl and a big head. I'm not saying that I have a big head, but you know, you get me. So I'm going to wet my hair first and I'm going to be using Argan Oil Cream of Nature Shampoo to give it a nice good scrub in the front and the back on side to side, front and back and side and side. Have fun, have fun, have fun, have fun, okay? Do what you want. Once you're done there, you're going to rinse using lukewarm water. You never want to use hot water when you're rinsing your hair. And move right along to our argan oil leave-in conditioner and heat protectant. It's always important to use a heat protectant on your hair, especially if you're going to be blow drying. So I apply the leave-in conditioner first and follow up with the heat protectant. I add my shower cap and I leave it on for about 15 minutes before rinsing again. Hey smileys! Hope you guys are having a good day out there. But I love washing my hair, it feels really good and refreshing. Once you're all done, you want to wrap it up to towel dry. Then a nice little dab dab. And then we're going to blow dry. Take your time with the blow dryer. You don't want to yank and tug at your hair a lot because it kind of just makes it a little more prone to breakage. So I'm just combing using a wide tooth comb. God, that's a lot of hair. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. And that does reduce the amount of breakage. Especially for a grade of hair like mine. And don't mind the gray hair in the front, guys. Those, that, those are just my wisdom. That's my wisdom patch. It means I'm a very wise person. Don't hate. And then I use a hot comb to press my edges because we want the ponytail to be really smooth. And if you remember, I mentioned that we're going to do some nice sleek edges. So you want the edges to be nice and smooth and straight. And at this point, I am working all of my hair up into a ponytail and I'm just gonna brush constantly. I'll be using Murray's Edge Wax to achieve those nice slick edges that we talked about. And I'm also gonna use a little bit all over to smooth back my ponytail. I kind of try to find a nice place that's not too far in the front, but not quite in the middle. You be the judge. You can figure out where you want to put your bun. Make it your own. Okay, we do a little twist here and play with it a little bit until you get the bun to look exactly how you like it. Here we go. I'm using a little bit more of that Murray's wax to 
slick any flyaways and kind of just make sure everything is nice and neat before we move forward with slicking back the edges. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna start the edges by pulling some of the hair forward and I have very fine hair, very fine edges. And I like my edges to look nice and neat. Some people do a lot of hair in the baby edges. I keep it to a minimum because I want it to look natural. We're applying more of the Murray's Wax here. We're gonna brush and slip, brush and slip. I got my handy dandy toothbrush, guys. Anyone who does baby hair knows the toothbrush trick. I mean, you, you have to know it. It's the only brush that really works to get the best edges. If you haven't tried it, try it. Okay. Guys, this actually takes me a really long time. This is probably the longest part of the process for me because I'm a perfectionist and I probably spend 10 minutes just brushing my edges. Okay, smileys, here's our final look. It doesn't get any quicker or easier than that. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah. Dreams for